All right, let's play World Basketball Manager. Let's get it on. LA Lakers, we're gonna play a friendly match against the Southland Sharks now. Um, yeah, we click on the date uh, on the top here and then we say skip to next match day. This might take a few uh, moments, no? Oh, for, okay, first, first, I forgot the NBA draft. But with the draft players are fictional, I think we proceed. But I think Greg Oden wasn't he a real player? Isn't he a real player? That's maybe Easter Echo, whatever. But the rest of the names that are picked here are fictional, as far as I know. So when is our pick? Are in in the last third? I I think we're here. Miami Heat gets the last pick. Charlotte Bobcats the first, so pretty pretty realistic. I don't know what kind of player should the Lakers look for in the draft. I'm as I said not a total LA Lakers expert, so I'm not sure. Maybe I just picked the best player that's available. So show me. I just take the this guy here, Kay Clark, a guard, 26 years old from the USA. He's worth the most money, so I pick him. He's 188 meters, good moral, warm temperament, low injury risk. What is his strength? He's a good two-point shooter, a decent three-point shooter, good free throw shooter, good overall, good all-rounder, so I draft him. Chris Clark is his name. So we finish this draft in a second. <coughs> All right. So the next should be the game against the Sharks, where we can yeah, test our team, try to get to know the, the roster a bit more and get back into the game since I, I didn't play this game in the last weeks too much so and I wasn't an expert before that so I need to get to know this game a little bit <sighs> the player updating takes a minute the team updates as well the world of basketball is spinning on the left top here <laughs> so I, I'm always trying to do one game per part in this let's play so we will see only this one game but that should be enough and that should take a few moments the loading times are disastrous I think I right now while I'm recording the uh, uh, today I think is the game 5 of the NBA Finals Spurs against the Heat I haven't watched a single game yet and I have barely watched anything of the playoffs I, I own the NBA League Pass but haven't watched too much since the Raptors out of the season I haven't been motivated because the games are here in the middle of the night which is not the biggest problem for me but uh, I didn't watch too much so maybe I will watch the decisive games of the, the finals now it's two both I think two and two th maybe they get to game seven we will see oh come on the loading times are <sighs> putting me to sleep somebody get me crystal meth no that's a joke of course somebody give me a coffee <coughs> Hoo -hoo -hoo. do the Lakers have a a, a, a hymn a, a song a specific song that they play at their games I'm not I don't know that then I would learn that song and sing it during the loading times in the next part maybe maybe not I am not a good singer but uh, <laughs> I need to find something to do while this game is just putting our patience on a hard test why is this taking so so long 
I knew, I knew it would be long, but this long? Are you kidding me? I might go shopping, but it's a Sunday, so I can't do that. Could go and make a pizza, and when I come back, the game is still on August 17th. <coughs> Oh, oh, maybe there are a lot of transfers right now or stuff which might take a lot during the regular when the regular season begins it should be it should be faster should be it should go quicker and I don't know which date our friendly match is but a lot of updates to be done here the amount of data is just extreme that's the problem here I'm I've, I don't have the fastest computer but it's not a stone age computer as well so and this game is not a graphic monster or something which should yeah be too much for this computer but the amount of data is just incredible and I, as i said i already deactivated tournaments in the other countries because if they were on this it would even take much longer than it already it takes um So, but it's just millions and millions of players and teams and whatever, whatever has to be updated here. So, what are your favorite basketball teams in the world? Please tell me in the comments. I'm interested in that. I just watch NBA basketball. Do you watch other leagues? I really don't care too much about German basketball. It's it's just it's I think it's a different level. Of course, the NBA is the best league in the world, but I don't have time to watch another basketball league. I often don't even have time to watch NBA because NBA has a lot of games, four or five games in a week. German football, soccer, we're not used to that, <laughs> so I often don't find the time to watch so much. So, but maybe if you can. Give me some advice which leagues are interested uh, uh interesting then please tell me Baba so August nineteenth and we're still not going on with the game is this getting annoying is this getting embarrassing? I guess so, but what am I supposed to do? I know from the last let's, let's play that I had to cancel because as I said I blew up my save game that when uh, when the regular season has started it goes faster because then you have games almost every day so you don't have to wait from you have to wait sometimes but not as long as we are waiting right now <laughs> um, yeah so come on, come on Staples Center <sighs> I would tell you a joke now, but I don't even know too many jokes in German, so I can't tell you jokes in in English. Um, if you know other interesting sports games that I could let's play, you can also feel free to tell me. Oh, August 19th, is it over? Oh, I'm always interested uh, in yeah, basketball, football, soccer. Maybe there are other basketball manager games, I don't know. The indie market is big. Um, yeah. Feel free to write it in the section below so now games are getting simulated and I don't have a clock to I have to look at the clock to see how long this is still taking but I, I, I don't I I don't remember at which point in time we started this so I can tell you how many minutes this is already going but you uh, when you watch this on YouTube we will see of course but I'm just guessing is this five minutes already six minutes already seven minutes already Probably uh, should have checked when our next game is. Then I could see the end, the end of the rainbow where there's the pot of gold <laughs> being defended by a leprechaun. 
<laughs> I need a faster computer or this game needs less data to deal with <sighs> are there so many teams there that are inquiring acquiring new players or giving away players or why do the teams have to be updated so much and so heavily today is also WWE payback do you what will you watch that do, are you a WWE fan I am and I will watch it just saying because I'm running out of things to say here please game hurry up transactions news data Backing up data, processing data, processing competitions. Are there so many friendly games right now all around the world? Maybe I only deactivated the tournaments in the other leagues, but maybe those other leagues in the world, in every country that there is basically, almost, maybe they have friendly games. So that's the reason it takes so long right now. I deactivated the other leaks but I didn't active deactivate their other the, the friendly games maybe maybe I'm just assuming that because as I said I know the loading cut the loading times are getting shorter when the regular season has begun so I guess now every team in every village in the basketball world is having friendly games now so <sighs> that might be the reason why this is not going on. This is also a, a, yeah, something you have to criticize about this game. That on a on a, on a solid computer, it takes it takes you so long. This is something that has to be improved in future versions of this game. Or maybe if you have this game, can you tell me, is it f faster on your computer? Do you have to wait just as long as me? Or is this maybe maybe a bigger hardware problem that I think it is? Or do you also have to wait for this so long? If you l own the game. But I guess maybe if you own the game, you probably won't be watching this loading screen for 10 minutes right now. We are on August 22nd. Oh, <sighs> come on. This will be a long video because the game hasn't even started and the let's play. The video is already quite some minutes old. The teams, the updating of the teams always takes the longest amount of time as I see right now, as you see. Please, developers, work on that. Make that a faster process. This is driving me insane. <laughs> Ball. Basketball. Oh come on, what's written on the ball here? GG7 dual cushion technology. Are those real balls? Uh, is this a real basketball brand, GG7? I don't know. So... We might be on August 23rd now. And everyone watching this Let's Play has fallen asleep. Or not. <laughs> What's your favorite team in the NBA? Please tell me, Baba. Processing simulated games. Whoa. This is probably the most boring video I've ever recorded in my life. Even in the German version of the Let's Play, which I did two months ago or three months ago, this didn't take so long, or did it? Oh, it 
takes three minutes for each day or, or what? Maybe I have to fi finish this video without even... Um, without playing a game. But maybe, maybe, but I, what I think I'm gonna do in the next parts, I think I will um, leave out the, the loading times. I will I will not record this. I will only put a, a press record when the game is about to start. But for this part I'm yeah, I will continue this right now. I've started this so I will keep going. If this still goes on for 20 minutes, of course I won't publish this. But yeah, for one part you can see how long this game takes so if you haven't already seen it in the first part. <laughs> and as a service I will tell you in the video to which point in time in the video you have to fast forward to to miss this this waiting time. I will write in the description also at which point in this video the game against the, the Southland Sharks begins. <sighs> <laughs> August 24th I would maybe stop this video now or in the next minutes because my patience is you know, losing is getting lost um but i want to i don't want to t the, the 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 draft has already been recorded i want i don't want to leave that out that's quite the important part of the game i think and of the season the, the real draft is about to start soon but i'm not too informed or too interested in it because the raptors don't have a single pick they don't have a first round pick they don't have a second round pick they all gave them away Maybe they will trade for a pick. They have the new the new um, GM manager, Ujari from the Denver Nuggets. So he's probably better than Brian Colangelo ever was. So can look forward. Things might be looking up for the Raptors. <coughs> So am I still waiting for this game to uh um I don't even know a rhyme my brain has melted away because this is taking light years uh or actual years uh if the f the friendly game is in middle of September or what then <laughs> This can still take a long time. <laughs> I think this video is already going 15 minutes or so. I'm not sure. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting thirsty. I think I will go to McDonald's tonight. They have a couple of new burgers which were created by uh, in, in the community contests and there is even a, a let's play burger so to speak. Uh, a burger that has been named by after uh, one of the most famous German let's play channels so I might try to get a taste of that tonight. <laughs> so maybe in three years we have the Penagzindel LP burger and McDonald's. But if I do more videos like this then probably not because I might be boring you. Thank you Captain Obvious you might be saying now or thinking. Oh come on this is not there is no end in sight is it? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, finally, August 25th, after a, a gigantic waiting time, we play against the Southland Sharks. They are an average, they have average athletic skills. We have a report here. 
they play a fair defense. They sh they shoot well from perimeter. Uh, excuse me. They are strong in the post. Their manager is nothing special. Their best player is Kenya Dickens, and we have to do our lineup now. I think. Where can I do that? Where can I do my starting lineup? Ah, here I can do it. I can um, tell them which position to play. We have to cover every five positions, substitute and excluded. We need 12 people, I think. Steve Nash, of course, is the starting point guard. The Black Mamba Kobe is the starting shooting guard. Matter World Peace, the starting small forward. Porgasol is starting on power forward and Dwight Howard on center. As substitutes, we can have seven players. I take Steve Blake, Earl Clark, Jody Meeks, E. Banks, Duhan, Anton Jameson, and one more, Jordan Hill. So let's get it on. We need some action after all that waiting. Tonight's games. Uh, and back to the waiting. We are the waiting. We want some ball games. Ball game. Take me out to the ball game. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Actually getting tired. Oh, come on. <coughs> The size of this video will be gigantic because this video might be very, very long. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Ah, finally, the starting lineup for the Southland Sharks Mark Dickel, Kevin Braswell, Mike Rose, Kenny Dickens, and Martin E.T. 556 people in attendance at the Unitech a friendly match. Kenny Stone is the manager of the Sharks. And we sim we play the game now. So before we start, we can um, above here we can choose a speed. We have normal speed, fast speed, faster speed, faster speed, or we can save and exit. Um, from my experience, I think we should do it on fastest or faster speed. I'm not sure because everything else takes too long. We have to press P to start the game. We can, um, before we start, um, I think we can, yeah, we can tell the, the, the players how they are supposed to score if they get a get a lead role or not. I think I'm giving Kobe a lead role, which in real life he probably takes himself. Offensive Offense duration we can pick short, normal or long. I take normal. After attempt, offensive rebound, return to defense or normal. I say normal. Man-to-man -man defense. Dwight Howard, I don't want him getting three-pointers, so I tell him he should only score on the inside. And the other guys can score wh however they want to. Uh, in defense, I can choose the intensity, low, normal, or high. I pick no uh, no normal intensity. And I can tell them which player they should guard. 
defense system I have full court press man to man and zone three out two in or zone two out three and I I pick man to man no immediate foul that uh, you can do that in the uh, final minutes of the game I think so now I play press P I pick faster speed for the start so I don't want this game to be over too quickly we just waited 20 minutes for nothing so I don't want to hurry this game too much maybe I will do fast test speed if this takes too long but we will see 2-0 for the Southland Sharks bad shot Edie gets the rebound I think this is a, a nice speed this speed is the appropriate speed I think here the green squares next to the players names uh, tell you the fouls and the, the, the numbers of course tell you the uh, the points they've scored we have stat sheets uh, down here and you see the game is only getting described via text we don't have any visuals so we have the purple we have the purple and green uh, yellow is uh, southland sharks here uh, Metal World Peace has three points Dickens with a rebound Southland Sharks to really read everything the text is going pretty fast so maybe in important parts of the game I should slow it down a bit but yeah, I think for a friendly game this is or for the, the majority of the match this is um, a nice beat so Kobe has four points uh, Lakers in possession now Kobe with a ball he passes to the baseline World Peace with an inside shot but Gasol with the board layup uh, Dickens with a foul Gasol goes to the line makes one eight and six lead Nash with a steal two free throws for him he makes both Rose passes to the outside three-point shot goes in the Lakers now pick and roll Kobe to the pivot area World Peace two free throws makes both this is really hard I c uh, to read. It's so fast. I, c I, j I shouldn't pick faster speed. That would be too much. I can do that when the game is set. I can take timeouts. The Sharks just did. Um, I can trade some, uh, substitute some players. I put Anton Jameson in. And Steve Blake. For some players, I, I have to admit, I don't know their position. Can I? Can I see that here? I n ah, here I can see it. I didn't know what Duhan and Ebanks are playing. So we continue. 15 to 9 lead for the Lakers. Free throws, both missed by a player of the Sharks. Now two free throws go in. Pick and roll. Kobe with a shot. He misses. And the Sharks on offense. They missed their shot. Well piece with the board. Pick and roll. Jamison with a layup. Now he passes into the key and Dwight Howard with a layup 17 to 11 the lead a lot of free throws in this game Dickens with a steal a two-point shot he makes it two-point game three-second violation by Kobe um, Howard with a rebound World Peace takes a jump shot he misses it the Sharks can tie the game and they do 17 both Foul. Howard goes to the line. He makes one free throw. One point lead for the Lakers. Steve Blake already three fouls. I put uh, Steve Nash back in so you can also stop sub sub uh, substitute players when there's no timeout. Um, oh, the Sharks have the lead now. But Kobe makes it nine points for him. The first quarter is about to end. World Peace also has nine points. 24-23 lead for the Lakers. Kobe passes to World Peace with the layup now. Now he misses. But tip in by Dwight Howard. He also has five, uh, three fouls already. Kobe with a three-pointer. The first guy to score in double digits. The first quarter is over. 29-23 to 23 the lead. Um, I Chris Duan gets to play now a bit. Jody Meeks. I don't have a small forward on the bench. I should change that next time. So, well, <coughs> Jordan Hill uh, goes in as center, and Paul Gasol comes back into the game, and we carry the on. Duan to Hill, Gasol with a three-pointer. No, misses it. I'm not sure. Maybe I should tell him to only take two pointers. Don't know. Jordan Hill. I, uh, I would tell him now. Jordan Hill only 
inside shots, please. Uh, I'm not sure. Can you can you do uh, jump shots? I'm not sure. Well, I guess as a center, it's best to do inside scoring for him. Jody Meeks goes to the line for three, and he makes all of them. Nine-point lead for the Lakers now. Seven-point lead now. Gasol with drives to the basket and lays it in. Three-second violation by Dickel. Hill passes to the high post, but Idi with a steal. A lay-in and Dickens scores. Dickens already 11 points for the Sharks. Jordan Hill with a layup. 36 to 27. Dickens scores. Jody Meeks. Hill misses. Rose with a rebound. Kobe comes in for a meta world piece. Kobe plays on the three now. Nine point lead. Three pointer missed. Kobe with a board. Chris Duan with a three pointer and it goes in. Double digit lead for the LA Lakers. The half of the first half of the second quarter is over. Three point play for the Sharks now. Kobe gets blocked, but Hill regains, passes to Jody Meeks, and he scores. Seven points for Meeks. Hill with the rebound. Duhan to the line. Makes both. Good free throw shooting on the Lakers. 15 of 18 so far. It's pretty good. 15 point lead. Um, I bring in E Banks for Gasol. And Steve Nash back in. 16 point lead. Kobe with a rebound. Nash tries a three pointer and he makes it. 18 point lead. We are running away with this now. Kobe getting a lot of rebounds and he takes a three pointer and makes it. 17 points for Kobe, but also three fouls already. Matter what, Peace comes back in for Kobe. Earl Clark plays center now, playing small ball. 26 point lead. Oh, okay, Earl Clark is not a small guy. We lead with 26, 64 to 30. Uh, si uh, sorry, 26 point lead, 64 to 38 at halftime. And I put my starters back in the, l in the lineup. This is going pretty great so far. Kobe, 19 points, the top scorer. looking good but of course we're the better team not to be arrogant but that's a fact I think a dunk by Dwight Howard World Peace gets the rebound it's interesting uh, with the Raptors when I started the season I also played a friendly game against the Th Southland Sharks I don't know if they're the default random opponent that you get every time to be honest, I don't even know if the team exists in reality, but I think w with so much real data I download, I downloaded, they have to be a real ta a real existing team. Because um, yeah, I download original names, real names for every player in every country, basically. So they have to be real. We lead by uh, 31 now. Kobe, 24 points already. Hope he doesn't fall out. <laughs> that would be totally unnecessary. But a lot of players on the Sharks team are collecting fouls too. Three players with four fouls each. Um, I bring Anton Jameson in for Meta World Peace. And Earl Clark for Pogasaw. And Steve Blake for Steve Nash. 73 to 46. Kobe. Drives, layup, goes in. Rose scores. Well, Howard goes to the line and makes one of two. Rose has almost fouled out five fouls already on him. Kobe with a three point. I know he passes to Earl Clark. He goes for a layup and scores. 78 to 50. Clark with a block, but Bradley regains the ball. Inside hook shot. Now Howard with a rebound. Five rebounds so far for Dwight Howard. Eight rebounds by Meta World Peace. Howard goes to the line, makes both. Looking good here. 
Jody Meeks comes in for Kobe. I don't have to take timeouts here. <coughs> Ebanks comes in for Dwight Howard. We lead by 30. Miss, yeah. It's not over yet, but I can't imagine, I can't think of the Sharks to win this game. I think we have, we probably have won it. Meeks goes to the line, misses both free throws. Has 14 points so far, pretty good. Four fouls already on Kobe, Gasol and Steve Blake. Maybe a bit too aggressive for a friendly game. But we, we deal with this game as if it was a real game. Um, we try to, yeah train ourselves simulate a real regular season game so so they have to be fouls the other team is fouling as well so we are leading by 33 points one minute to go Earl Clark I bring back in Steve Nash and Jordan Hill comes in turnover Meeks but with the mix with the steal and the third quarter is done 93 to 57 a uh, 36 point lead Kobe Bryant with 26 points doing pretty awesome 21 points Dickens the best scorer on the Sharks Earl Clark the ball goes in four points for him uh, three point is missed Meta World Peace comes back in Earl Clark goes for the dunk but he misses the Sharks are on offense, a three-pointer is tried. Jameson with a rebound, pick and roll, Earl Clark attempts a three-pointer and knocks it in. We almost have the 100 points. Ooh, Earl Clark makes both free throws and we have 100 points, 100 to 59. Jordan Hill with the steal, Clark, he's missing. Jump shot goes in for the Sharks. Earl Clark is doing a lot of scoring now. He has 10 points, 11 points now. He's on a roll. I bring in Dwight Howard. Jody Meeks for two and to the line. He misses another free throw. One of three of six from the line. Well, peace to Clark. Howard with a lane and it goes in. 42 point lead, 106, 64, 8 minutes to go. The game is basically over. Earl Clark with a 3 pointer goes to the line for a 3 and he knocks all of them in. Earl Clark 14, re 14 points, having a good quarter, a good game. Well, peace to Johnny Meeks, he tries a 3 pointer but misses Steve Nash with a rebound. Free throws for the Sharks, one goes in. Well, Peace goes to the line. Oh, Dickens, the best scorer on the Sharks, has fouled out. Six minutes to go. I bring back Kobe because Jody Meeks is also about to foul out, and Kobe wants to play some minutes now. Pogasol also comes uh, in for Earl, for Earl Clark, who has played a great quarter. 116 to 67. Slam dunk here. Some action for the fans. A lay in goes in. 118 points already and 5 minutes to go. Let's see how many points we can get. Can we get 140? I don't think so, but maybe. Well, peace to the line. We get a lot of free throws. The Sharks are fouling a lot. And Howard, the scoring is going great here. Good field goal percentage, I assume. 126 to 69, 4 minutes to go. And a jump shot and a free throw for the Sharks. Kobe for 3, makes it. 29 points on him, but he's about to fall out. But let's see if he falls out. Not too, too bad. Gasol also has 5 fouls, but. Well. Okay, I bring Ebanks for Gasol in. And Duhan gets to play a bit. We have 131. The Sharks have 72. We might actually get the 140 points. Maybe even 150. We have still almost three minutes to go. Kobe to Ebanks for three misses. Spicer with a rebound. Duhan steals. Br Kobe to the line and he knocks both in. 33 points for Kobe. 
Duan with a lay in layup. 137. Kobe has fouled out. Jody Meeks comes back in. Maybe he will also foul out. Foul out. Kobe finishes with 33 points. Maybe he wanted to go to the shower too early. Uh, I don't know. Kobe always wants to play basketball, I think. <laughs> so, about one minute to go. We have 139 points. The Sharks have 76, 141 now. Three pointer. Duan for three to the line. Makes all of them. 144, 20 seconds to go. I think this is about to be over now. And we win 146 to 79, almost twice as many points as the Sharks had. But the Sharks played also a nice game. If you see that they are not an L NBA caliber game, they they put on an effort. Braswell and Dickens scored 21 points each. The top scorer was Kobe Bryant, 33 points. Mela World Peace, 20 points. Jody Meeks, 18 points. Chris Duan, 12. Dwight Howard, 18 points. Earl Clark, 14. Pogus Hall, 11. Um, we had 16 steals. Steve Nash had 4 steals and 3 assists. Mela World Peace had a double double. He had 10 rebounds. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty good game. Good practice. And we finished this day now, and I say, see ya. I don't want to bother you with further loading times. In the future parts, I will try to leave them out as much as possible. So, if that's p if that's possible. But I thank you for your patience, and maybe you will keep watching this Let's Play. I would be happy about that. See you.